Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I'm Black Operation 1 and we're on our next video, our next episode of Fishing Planet. Uh, last episode we were um, exploring St. Croix Lake, uh, fishing for all different types of fish and um, and yeah it was a good day, it was a good day fishing. Uh, didn't really catch on last spot but I showed you a few other spots that I like to fish and explored some new areas and found some new place for new fish. Um, so this episode, we're still here at St. Croix Lake, but we are fishing for these bad boys. We're going to try and catch us a unique one of these. Now, I have pulled unique out of this part uh, of the lake before, or from this lake before. So I know they're here, and we're going to go for these bad boys here. Okay, so these are the blue catfish, and we're going to go for a unique one of these. Now, we are continuing, basically, from the last episode. So we are um, still on the same day we finished off. And still got the last couple of fish in our keep net. Um, but that is soon to be changing with a fresh keep net. But like I said, we're only here for the blue catfish. So we're just going to ignore that from last episode. Now the setups I'm using again. Like I said, continuing from last episode. So it's the same, same setups. We've got a heavy 50 pounder rod. Uh, with a 50 pound odd test line. And we have the night bobble at the moment because we're fishing at night. And we have got a number four odd hook on there, and we're using large cut bait. Now we will be trying different, well, be using different uh, hook sizes, different baits, be varying the baits, just to keep them interested. And leader length is set at 50 inches, and we will adjust that as we go on. We're going to keep adjusting and adjusting and adjusting until we hit that sweet spot and catch that nice, unique uh, blue catfish. Uh, there is another location where the blue catfish are. Um, if we don't have any luck here, um, then maybe we'll swap over to there. But but I got a funny feeling it's going to be right today. Uh, this episode is going to go the way we want, and we are going to catch that unique. Oh, that was a that was a big pull. Oh, and again, that's a big pull. No bite yet. It's just pulling. They're just pulling. Do we have a flood go right under? Like that. That didn't feel like a catfish. No, it's not. It's what we tried to catch last on last episode, the Lake Sturgeon. So we caught one this episode. Let's have a view of this beauty. Just so you know what it looked like. So there is a Lake Sturgeon. Absolutely gorgeous fish. They get much bigger than this, much bigger than this. Um, but yeah, that's not what we're here for. But that just proves, because last episode we couldn't catch uh, Lake Sturgeon. Um, but just proves that they are in this area. And uh, yeah, so let's continue with the blue catfish here. But that's just a nice little surprise there. I thought that that didn't seem right the way it was put in there. It did not seem right that it was a catfish. Um, so just proves on this setup, this catfish setup we got here, we, you can catch the Lake Sturgeon here as well. Um, but be prepared if you do, they can get quite big. So prepare for a fight if you do get a nice big one on. And we've got a lot of rings here. There's a lot of fish here. Okay, so we have something tugging, tugging hard as well. They can risk striking at that point, but I like to wait until they absolutely take that float. Okay, we have a bit of a fighter on here. This is a catfish. And it's a nice trophy blue, 38 pounder, fat boy there, look. So, yep, we're starting to reel in these big fish. So, let's keep the momentum going here. Momentum, sorry, going here. Let's see if we can ruin some more. Now, I started fishing at 9pm in game. Well, I didn't start fishing. I uh, changed the time to 9pm here, which is peak nighttime fishing for today. 
uh, got me the, everything set up. Of course, I had to take the boat to this point as well. So I'll start fishing the boat 20 past 9 in game. So it's only been about 39 minutes. Um, sorry, 19 minutes in game, roughly. This might even be a sturgeon again. Ah, no, it is a catfish. Just took a while to take. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I've been doing a couple, well, a couple hours fishing here by myself, so we're going to change the lead length on this one, but we're also going to set up this rod here as well, and we've got, well, we got lead length on this one, 45, so we're going to do this one at 60, and we're going to set this up basically the same, slightly bigger hook, um, and we need, of course, a bigger flute on that one. Need to change the float on this one because it's not night time no more. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and use the rod stand to double our chances here. Fish in the same spot, obviously, but using the rod uh, rod stand here. Um, and yeah, this we're going to fish one out here. Oh, sorry, cast one out here. Put that on the rod stand, and this one here. Uh, I'm going to fish out here as well, cast out here. Okay, so we have two different leader lengths, two different size hooks. Uh, let's see what we get. We've got some rings. Hopefully this works out. Like I said, hopefully it should double our chances here. This may not be the smartest way of doing it. Because of the current. But we're going to try it out. We're going to try it out. There's no harm in trying new things. As I said in previous episodes, always... Try new things, experiment.
and I've also swapped it to daytime wasn't getting any new bites at night time went past peak times do you want to think it's past peak times now oh it is peak time I don't seem to be getting anything though as you see with this current look um, I might swap it over try on that side actually I might just do that let's do that actually let's reel these rods in and let's swap sides Oh, hang on, we got sank on we got sank on line two. I'm just watching it. It's just nibbles at the moment. There you go. That's a take. Okay, so we aren't catching the blue catfish. Um, so what I might actually do, I've got an idea. Hang on, let's try this idea, shall we? So we're going to set up the rod stand. This side, okay. Set the rod stand up here. Uh, we're going to use the first rod with a four rod hook. Cast it here where these rings are. Okay, we're going to put this on the rod stand. All right, and then we're going to fish manually with the other rod this side. And if we get any any notifications or any beeps on the rod stand, all we've got to do is just quickly reel in and get over there and check it out. Okay, so we have something on and it's a blue catfish, nice. Okay, so that did work. That's good to know. So we're just gonna do that again. We're just gonna keep doing this. Why is it stuck on there? And hopefully we uh, reel in a nice, unique catfish here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, swap back to night time. We wasn't getting any more luck in the daytime. Uh, I did kind of change up my uh, the way I'm doing it. So basically, I'm fishing now off this side, both of this, both of this side. Uh, one rod I'm just uh, dropping in with a large cut bait and six odd hook. The other one I'm kind of casting out a little bit, and that's the four rod hook. Uh, that's got shiners on this time though. And uh, leader length is still the same. I haven't had a single bite on the shiny yet. But it was way out of basically uh, peak times for the fish. And so we've uh, fast, well, I fast forwarded it to the nighttime peak times. And within the first five minutes of fishing, I already had a blue on. And it also looks like something's chasing the shiner. I did put the nighttime bobble on so we can see it getting chased around. <laughs> I 
And this is a sturgeon. Nice. My, well, personal record Lake Sturgeon. 37 pounder. Nice. That's on the shiners and the full rod hook. Not what we're after. Still nice, none, none, you know. Still nice, uh, no matter what. That's what I was trying to say. Um, we are getting close to filling up our keep net. When we fill up a keep net, we'll have to skip to the next day. Still no luck with this unique at the moment. We will catch it. There is unique in this pond or on this lake. Um, right there, that, see. Common trophy unique. So, it, they are on this lake, not lake specific, which I thought they were. Um, you know, I was starting to think, well, they moved the uniques over to, is it Quanchkin Lake? But they haven't, so that's good. And we've got another, another nibble, another fish on here. Oh, it's a bit heavier fish this time. Been a bit more of a fight. Still a small one. We had a few trophies, which is nice, obviously. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to catch that unique blue fish, blue catfish. But we will still keep dipping our rods in here. Uh, haven't given up yet. We are going to keep going, hopefully, until we catch one. Or we get to the 10th day. And of course we're only going to stick to peak time. So it could be 10th day before we catch one. Uh, but I've got. You know touch wood. Fingers crossed. Luck is on our side. Okay, so we got a big boy on here. This could be what we've been after. You will not let me reel in. That's it, come on. Let me reel in. It's either what we're after or this is a nice big lake sturgeon. I don't want to push it here. Oh, I've got fish on the other line as well. It's not a good scenario. Forty-two pound trophy, and you fought like that. Let's quickly grab this one. As you can tell, we're now next day. Filled up the key net in the end, so I had to skip to the next day. Still no unique. Nice trophy size, but no unique. Not even close, to be honest with you. Needs to be eighty pounder. That's fine, we just keep on going here. We just keep on trucking.
Okay, so it's now coming out of peak times, but we're going to try something a little bit different here. Something I, I haven't actually tried with blue catfish, but we're going to try it anyway. Uh, no, what, what time do I need it? Hang on. Mm. Uh, so we're going to do some, go back to the night. Um, we want 12. midnight like that now we're going to try bottom i'm going to try the bottom rods here and see what we get off these hopefully we get something and i want some large cut bait on that one let's try it um like I said, you need to experiment. Now I'll bring these out to try and catch these bl these blue catfish. So I might as well use them. <coughs> That's one set. And then we're going to do the second one. Uh, we're going to put live bait on this one. Uh, no, six odd. That's what I want. And let's try... Try there. I'm not going to say we're going to get anything on these. This is just a trial and error. I was just going through um, my rod setups here to see which one. We'll see what we could try. Maybe let's up the hook size. And what about if we do full depth? This uh, this lake is good for the depth, so let's try it. Now, of course, catfish are nighttime feeders, hence why we swapped to the nighttime. And they are also bottom feeders, but we have been catching near the top. Just not what we're looking for, and the time is dragging on. It's now five days in, and. Oh, crap. Okay, it's not what I want. I've just got me line in. It doesn't feel heavy. And we'll also sink on the other line. It is a blue catfish. Trophy one straight away. Nice. Um, I'm going to use a marker there. So I know for future that you can catch blues there. So this uh, cast out there again. Are we getting anything on that one? I don't know. Um, what we are going to do is actually, I'm going to set this one on the third. 
to this one, number two. Have a floats in on there as well. So trial and error has worked out. We've caught one, but what's the frequency or how many we're actually going to catch off them? Now, when we're fishing at a 50 inch leader length, or well, between uh, 30 and 50 inch leader length, just dropping a bobble in, we're getting bites near enough every five minutes or so. If we can get that on the bottom feeding rods, I'll be I'll be pretty happy. And we've got the fish on. Another blue. Are you tiddler? See if we can cast in before we pick this rod up. There's definitely something on the line there. It's going crazy. And we've got two. Crap, they've both gone. Gonna add up the tension here. Okay, so this seems to be good fishing. Haven't really tried them, like I said, the bottom feeding rods. We're gonna lose that other one. I'm gonna bend in that rod there, look. Okay, let's uh, get this out of the way. Shit. Oh, I was hoping to get that other rod out of the way and quickly strike on the other one, but never mind. Didn't work out, did it? That got a little bit hectic there. That's what I like to see. When it goes like that, you know you're in the right spots. Yeah. Twenty-eight pound. So we could have lost a big fish on the other one, but that's fine. Uh, where was this one? This one was about there, wasn't it? So fish out to that spot, roughly. Let the weight sink. Let's recast this one. I'm determined to find the spot where they've, where the unique fish are basically spawning in. There's got to be a spot. My previous play on here. I've been catching unique fish just off the bat. Now that's the wrong setup and I want this one. Literally dropping in the float. Right at our feet here. But I'm up for new things. And we are actually, you know, see that, look at that. We are getting nibbles. We are getting bites. We're getting strikes. And it's only, what, 20 minutes in. So this could be the technique, using bottom feeding rods. If it is going to be the technique and it works out, then I know what I'll be using from now on to catch the blue catfish. But I've now been fishing for three hours in real time. Obviously you're not going to see those full three hours, you're only going to see the best parts. I want to bore you to death now. But yeah, I've been fishing for three hours in real life. And it's now 3 a.m. here in the UK. And man is dying for a piss.
There you go, ladies and gentlemen. We finally caught one. A unique blue catfish. This was during the day, not night time. And it was on the bottom feeding rod. So the bottom feeding rod technique does work. And we managed to finally catch a unique blue catfish. Now, we caught a trophy blue catfish before this. Um, but it seemed to me as though it was a lot bigger than this one. Uh, to be honest, not, it, it, it obviously isn't. But with looking at the fish, it looked to be bigger. But look at that size of that monster. This is not the biggest blue catfish in this lake. Still a monster nonetheless. Just look at it. But there you go, we finally, after a hard day's fishing, finally managed to catch ourselves a unique blue catfish. Oh, and it sounds like we have one on the other line. Hang on, let's reel this in. This is no monster on this one. Starting to fight back a bit, but it's not a monster. It's not that monster unique we're looking for. No. Nope. So yeah, so we finally did it. Caught the unique. Um, I'm going to keep fishing this spot, I think, and seeing how many more uniques I managed to actually get. But yeah, if you want to know roughly where it's to, so... If you go in your map and you're fishing from this dock, you want to look out. Um, basically, get on the corner. Uh, look at the back of the boat. And you got the rock there, tree there. Then you got the greenhouse there. Yeah. So you want to fish just like on the corner there. And you're fishing about. About a hundred, hundred foot, about a hundred foot on your bottom rods using um, an eight odd hook. So anything between a six odd and an eight odd hook, and a large cut bait and large minnow. Obviously, with the biggest tackle you can get, or biggest tackle you want to fish with, obviously is your preference. But yeah, so there you go. Finally caught a unique. Um, I was hoping for more than one, but beggars can't be choosers, can they? Beggars can't be choosers. So this is also during the day on St. Croix Lake and not the night. So imagine what you can catch at the night. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the end of this episode. Finally, the end of this episode. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new and like the content uh, on this channel, please subscribe. And um, yeah, tell your friends and family, get them to subscribe as well. Uh, also, if you are up for a free game, uh, check out uh, the video that's going to be linked in a minute onto this on the end of this video. Um, for my drug dealer simulator video, I am giving a, two lucky winners a free copy of that. So make sure you check that out as well and uh, be, in, be in for a chance of winning a free game. So yeah, thank you for watching again. And remember to have fun, keep gaming, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, goodbye.